Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm showing you how to make a clove and rosemary infused deep hair conditioner. It is the perfect addition to your wash day hair routine, especially if you're looking for an easy way to make your own hair conditioner. Wanna see exactly how I make this clove and rosemary hair conditioner? Keep watching. So before we get started, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you're notified whenever I create a new video. So guys, I am so excited to share this hair conditioner with you because cloves are an extremely beneficial herb for the hair. So let's start by measuring out some cloves. So we're going to be infusing the cloves into a carrier oil to make this deep conditioner. So I'm using about six tablespoons of cloves. So I'm going to crush up the cloves a bit to kind of make a powder. So I like doing it this way, but you can certainly just use the whole clove pieces if you like, or if you don't have a mortar and pestle or any other type of grinder to grind up your whole cloves. So using the whole clove pieces will work just fine. So now I'm going to transfer my clove powder and pieces because there were definitely still some pieces remaining into a jar and fill it about halfway. So this is an eight ounce jar that I'm using. So basically I'll fill the jar with about three and a half to four ounces of cloves. So next, I'm going to be infusing my cloves with olive oil. So just make sure to fill up the jar completely so that the cloves are covered. So now you can certainly use other carrier oils such as argan oil or sweet almond oil, even grapeseed oil. But I'm using olive oil because I like the way that it moisturizes my hair when I use it alone. So to infuse the oil, you have two options, either to sit the oil and the herbs in a nice warm sunny place for two to four weeks, or you can use a crock pot and gently heat it for two to five hours. And now that my oil is infused, let's move on to the next step, which is actually straining the infused oil to separate the actual clove powder and pieces from the oil that has now been infused. So I'm using cheesecloth, but as an alternative, you can use like a sheer stocking if you don't have cheesecloth. So just make sure to wiggle around the powder and the pieces with a spoon or a spatula to make room so that the oil can strain down into the jar. So next, I'm measuring some distilled water for maximum hydration of our hair cells. And for my humectant, I'm going to use a little bit of glycerin. And of course, to add a bit of thickness and slip to our cloves and rosemary conditioner, I'm going to add in some guar gum into my glycerin. And next, let's just pour the glycerin and guar gum mix into the distilled water and stir it until it's mixed well. So for my solid butter, I'm going to be using refined shea butter. So shea butter is an excellent butter to condition and nourish the hair. Next, I'm going to be measuring out some BTMS 50, which is a vegetable derived conditioning agent that will leave the hair easy to detangle and smooth. And it also acts as an emulsifier to help our water and oil blend easily together. Next, I'm adding in Settle Alcohol, which is one of the good fatty alcohols, and it's going to help our conditioner glide evenly throughout our hair. So now it's time to place our ingredients into a water bath. So I have my water and glycerin mix as well as my solid butter and emulsifier mix. So it can take a bit longer for the oil and emulsifier to melt down. So while that's happening, I'm going to strain my clove oil infusion one more time to make sure there are no clove particles left in my oil. And then I'm going to pour my infused clove oil into the same beaker as my shea butter and emulsifier mix to let 
let it warm up just a bit, give it a stir, and once it's warmed up, the mixture will turn clear again. Now I'm pouring my water mix into a bowl for easier mixing. And I'm going to pour my oil mixture into the water. And now it's time to use my handheld whisk to mix up my ingredients. So this will also incorporate a bit of air into the deep hair conditioner. So the mixture is going to increase a little bit in size and thicken up. So you will also notice that the mixture will start to turn lighter in color the more it's whipped. Now let's add in some rosemary essential oil. So rosemary is excellent for stimulating the hair follicle. Just make sure to always use it with a carrier oil or in a product like this clove and rosemary deep conditioner. So you can also buy the actual rosemary plant and infuse it into your oil like I did with the cloves to make an oil infusion. Now let's go in and add in our preservative so that our conditioner will last and won't get contaminated. I'm also going to use my hand whisk just to make sure that it's mixed in well. So as an alternative, you don't have to use a hand whisk for this conditioner. You can certainly use a handheld immersion blender. It does actually seem to make the conditioner a little bit more soft and creamier. So guys, this conditioner is so thick and creamy and the clove and rosemary mixed together gives this conditioner a really nice aromatic smell. So I apply this conditioner to wet hair after shampooing, cover my hair with a plastic cap and sit under the dryer for 15 to 20 minutes and then rinse my hair. I love the way this conditioner makes my hair feel and smell. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Products that I use can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.